Museums are public buildings. The public come to them to enjoy, to be entertained, to be enlightened. And in so doing, they take in the architecture, of course, which is the background to the art. In that way, what you've done as an architect is on display to everyone. I think the building can be inconsistent in its materials, varied in its scale, and different in its expression. You know, he's one of those what used to be called rogue architects. You know, he does exactly what he wants to do, and it's up to the critics to interpret it later on. The kind of extreme right-wing fogey group are people who hold extreme views of, of what architecture should be. But it's the colors which I find so offensive. Here is a man charged with housing the nation's turners, and he insists on using the extraordinarily strident colors he likes, those greens in particular. And I get the impression that Sterling is not interested in the paintings at all. He's merely interested in producing a public building which people will see and admire. I'm not ashamed of being an eclectic architect. It's a fact that our designs have run in series and changed every third or fourth project. And we've gone through, over the decades, several changes in, in the architectural expression. And I hope that will go on.